Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use Gibbet Mortifact 2, Mortifact 3 Safe Editor. It's a pretty demo release, if you know what I mean. It's not the full version yet. Oh, come on. So you have to go to gibbet.me slash builds Mortifact 3. I'll add a link in the description. And as you can see, there is the new edited version is right here, edited already yesterday. Let's save the file. My computer might be a little slow. Shut the fuck up. Do the hell do you think I click it delete? And here we go. Eat this one to here. Then you open it wherever you say it doesn't really matter. click on open then you choose a character I'll just take this one say 69 and as you can see there isn't really that much yet but you can edit the uh, little moment need to find plot 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 there we go so you can edit the right now. You can edit some things like the difficulty in game state where it's like one or two. Live to fight again or out in the place in the glory. You also go to player right here and you can edit your experience. You can edit your level. How many talent points you are having left in your current health does not really work for me. And you can edit your credits, your medial, and pretty much everything. It's actually all pretty simple. So when you have edited whatever you want to edit, you simply go click on save, new save, or overwrite the old save. You can also import Elizabeth I by going to Player, Appearance, press it, open from file. And then just double click this one and open. And then just save it. And you should be having Elizabeth I. You may not get the Elizabeth I if you are importing a new game. You need to be say you need to be playing the game. If you're importing new game, then the eyes warns you are for me at least. So, yeah, there's really not much to say. So, save game and new save. Save. You go into the game. You load the new save game you just created, and everything. And you should be good to go. So, we will be seeing around, hopefully.